Motherfucking ass. <laughs> now, Parker, like whatever we have going on, you put people in y'all business. When you see her with her friend and you having her like that, this is somebody that have love for her, bitch. So it's, you automatically putting people in your business, bitch. Do that shit behind closed doors, bitch. Cause no, I'm not gonna sit up there and like the fact that you handling my homegirl like that the same way. If the same way, plenty of times in the past, my boyfriends was fighting on me. That hoe actually had to jump in. Yeah, about to get her shit broke. She she jumped over behind me or jump behind me with plenty of my boyfriends in the past. So yeah, I spoke and I'm gonna step behind her. My boyfriend gonna step behind her too, cause she is family, bitch. Talk about you sitting up there, gonna wait till we leave, gonna tell Numi talking about something. Yeah, I spit on you, yeah, I did that in front of your people. That's why her people pull back up. And that's why her people pull back up, bitch. It's gonna happen every time Kelly's with Numi say. She know the real. Yeah, it's too much. And then the bad part about this bitch, you stand with Nuna taking care of you, doing everything she's supposed to do by you. You don't handle her like that in public in front of people, bitch. Yeah, shit. And any nigga who any nigga who back you on that shit, that's some bitch ass shit. You don't handle her like that. I don't give a fuck what's your definition of how you feel about her. And if you feel all that about her, leave her the fuck alone. Period. But you're not gonna never get up in my car fighting on her. You're not gonna never get up in my come up in my house fighting on her or spitting on her, bitch. No, you not. You gonna get your issue. This what's gonna happen. I don't know why he did that to that girl. That's 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 overdoing it. That's just that's overdoing it. Like, what did you get out of doing that to her? What you got out of doing that to her? What you gonna get out of doing that to her? Bitch, putting her head up in the motherfucking toilet. What you trying to tell her? Like, what you trying to tell her? A nigga need to beat him up. A nigga need to beat him up. It's not even my place. I just made Thirst do that because he put his hands on me. But other than that, a nigga need to put him in his place, bitch. Her brother need to put him in his place. Bitch, somebody need to put him in his place. Fuck you, put a woman head in the toilet. Somebody carrying your motherfucking baby. This bitch shit. I ain't gonna put another nigga in my feet. And then they be quick to try to blame it on the drugs. Want to blame it on the drugs and hug back up and tell the bitch they sorry. This day another bitch. That shit don't make that shit all right, bitch. Fuck the drugs, bitch. Stop doing the music. It's going to make you do all that. At least now you know, bitch. You ain't going to handle her like that around me. So that's on, that's on her. If she, if she decides to let you keep... If she decides to let you keep her... Uh, from coming around us or whatever, whatever. At least you, at least she know that this somewhere safe for her to come to, bitch. At least she know that this somewhere that we ain't, you ain't about to have, you ain't about to do none of that. Yeah, bitch, you gonna get put on your pocket. Period, point blank. You gonna fight a man, bitch. You gonna do that for her at her people house. You ain't gonna do it over here because obviously they comfortable with you handling her like that over there, bitch. But you not gonna do it here. Period, point blank. Or if she with me, bitch, you not gonna do it. Bitch. For <laughs> real, that bitch had me fucked up last night. Tell her, Noonan, come out from Let the one down, I'ma bust it. Let the one down, I'ma bust it. So I jumped out the car, I said, bitch, you ain't gonna bust nothing on my car. I said, you ain't gonna bust nothing on this bitch right here. I said, I bet you you won't bust my motherfucking one. I said, better yet, Noonan, move over, get in the passenger seat, because I had Noonan driving me last night. Or whatever I said, man, better yet, move over, get in the passenger seat, bitch. I want you to bust this bitch. I promise you, you ain't gonna bust nothing else. And Serge was. At home or whatever. It was late as a bitch last night. But bitch, I made it my business. I said, as soon as I get up out the bed tomorrow, I promise you, I'm going over there to that bitch friend dope. And he going, I'm going to make certain bet him and his shit. But that bitch ain't even want to do that. But I just wanted to show her bitch. Don't let no nigga be handling you like that. He ain't even going to fight no man. Ain't going to even come out the house to fight a man. But you have got the nerve to handle her like that. Yeah, I'm gonna stick up for her because guess what? The reason I'm sticking up for her because I done been in that situation so many times, several times. Y'all been following me with niggas. I done been through this shit. Like, I know how I feel and I have nobody have your back when you got a nigga beating on you and everybody started looking at you saying, well, just leave him alone. Well, just leave him alone. You like it. You like it because it ain't the fact that a bitch like it. A hoe being in love too. And then once you, you be in love and then a nigga 
throw you all kind of sorry stories when you do leave him alone. You end up taking him back and he still end up doing the shit again. And don't nobody understand how I feel to be locked and trapped in love with somebody like that. So I understand how she feel right now. Yeah, I'm gonna speak up for her. Even if motherfucker, even if nobody else don't, bitch, leave that girl alone, pussy. Go find you some, go find a nigga to beat on, bitch. Go to the gym and punch a punching bag. She's not a punching bag. Bitch, you got my friend face all looking all different kinds of ways, bitch. Period point blank, you a bitch ass nigga. Yeah, I know he did. I know he did. That's facts. Me and Sarah said that in the car. They say um that he probably jumped on her after we left. You know she. You know he did. He that felt played. And that's why she was saying she was leaving. He felt played. And Newman said she was about to leave anyway. He felt played because Sarah Chad came and made him stood down in front of the bitch that he loved or the bitch that he be beating on. Yeah, he probably fought on. Yeah, bitch, I told him, I said, bitch, that's your bitch, you fucking hurt. Don't put your hands on me. He slipped up last night and tried to call himself, trying to push me up in the car. Had to put his hand around my neck or whatever like that, bitch. Yeah, you, yeah, bitch, you, I bet you won't do it again. Don't touch me, bitch, you ain't fucking me. That's on her, she let you do that thing. Bitch, you shouldn't put your hands on me. But let me erase it though, y'all.